Hi, Scorpio. Thank you so much for stopping by. So I am here to do your love reading. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I just saw that one, Confessions. So some of you are going to be receiving a confession, an unexpected message here. I do have the emotional whirlwind here with shattered beneath that. So there is a lot of emotions right now that are running high. So you and possibly somebody that you're connected to could be feeling very emotional right now. I feel like there is going to be some confessions coming up and makes sense that we're in the Mercury retrograde. So there could be some unveiling or something that's going to come through. I feel like there's a lot of like, like uh, chaos or there's something that's building to the point of needing to confess something. It might not be like a confession. It might just be a message. It might be something that comes through here. But I do think that there's going to be something unexpected, which is kind of what all retrogrades are about. So this also could be things that are connected to your person as well. There could be something going on here. But for most of you, I feel like there is going to be something that's needing to be expressed. It's it's kind of like it's a pending thing is what I'm getting here. So that is the first card that came out. So a lot of you expect to have some form of a message or some form of a, even if it's just a spiritual message or some form of a, um, because I saw the, when I was doing, when I was shuffling the Lenormand deck, I saw the owl and I saw the sun with the moon beneath that. So there's something about like exposure of um, what's been under the surface or the exposure of what's been underneath, which I think this is what's been building for a while. So this could be between some of you, some of you have already received this message or received some form of news here and others of you are going to be receiving this news here. Let's actually get the Lenormand and see. What do we have here for the collective love energy right now? Anybody who needs to hear this message, what do we have confessions here for? What do we have this here for? Confessions for the collective. Okay, we have the fox and we have this uh, mask card here. So there has been something, you know, of somebody who's been wearing a mask here. There has been a lot of this coming to the surface. I feel like there is a fox in this situation. I mean, this to me is, you know, quite a bit of a sneaky energy here. But I feel like there is somebody who is going through some... Unveiling the fox is what I'm getting because of this mask here. Unveiling the fox here. So some of you could definitely have been dealing with somebody who was a little bit of a, uh, you know, player type energy here, or you were finding out that somebody has been doing something deceptive. I'm seeing that this is somebody from your past or an energy from the past here because the Six of Cups is showing. So this is all about the past. So again, makes sense that we're in this Mercury retrograde. I feel like a lot of stuff is being revealed about people who have been in your life, perhaps a particular person or even just a group of people in your life here. And I feel like it has to do with this fox here. What's the energy in the collective around love right now? What's the energy in the collective around love? Confessions here, energy in the collective around love at this time. Ten of swords and the fool. Wow. So I do feel like there is going to be quite a bit of a heavy energy here. Um, and that's why I feel the readings have been a little bit heavy is because there is sort of the... I feel like things have been at this place where there's been a, there's been like a suspect <laughs> or there's been something that has been suspected for a while. But I feel like with this fool being here in the Ten of Swords... The confession or the message that's going to come through is going to give a lot of clarity on how to have a brand new beginning. So I really feel like with this fool being here, this is things that are really going to be revealed that have something to do with betrayal. It has something to do with somebody who wasn't really who you thought they were with that mask card here. So somebody has not been authentic. Somebody has not been real. And for whatever reason, it's being revealed right now. So this, again, could come in the form of you having to receive a message from somebody, or you could be just kind of finding out the message from something here is what I'm seeing. But what it's allowing is the fool's energy to come through because a lot of you are, and I've been seeing that in the daily messages too, 
a lot of you are ready for something new. So it's not just something that you're talking about anymore just for fun or it's not like something that you're just imagining. I really feel like this is something brand new that's on the horizon for a lot of you. And it's because you kind of unveiled the fox or you will be un unraveling um, an energy here. What is this confession? How will this message come through? What is this about, this confession here for the collective? Okay, we have the swans here and we have the lily. So this is kind of where I feel that there is going to be some alignment coming in with twin flames and soulmates here because I feel like this could be a confession about, um, and I've been, this is kind of like a division of energies here. And that was coming through for a couple signs too. And that's just honestly what I'm seeing. I feel like there is going to be some unions taking place, but there's also going to be some confessions of things that were um, lower vibrational. So that could mean that some of you, you know, you could be in a connection right now and you find out that somebody has been a little bit deceptive. It just means that that's a connection in your personal life that is not allowing you to grow anymore. And this is why you are being led to the right partner for you. You're being led to the spiritual love that is meant to be in your life. And then for others of you, there might be something connected to perhaps somebody that you are with or, or somebody that you're at least connected to that could be having this sort of in their own life. So they could either be caught with something or somebody could be catching them, which also has been coming through. And this is what's allowing this compass to align with the spiritual love. Okay, that's just what I'm seeing. So I feel like there's going to be, regardless of how you look at it, there's a new chapter and a new kind of um, energy coming through of spiritual connections here that are coming into a, a union and coming into alignment here. But the only way that's going to happen is to reveal what's under the surface, to reveal the fox or to reveal the sneakiness. And that's what I see here. So it's like overcoming the pain of something. Somebody here is overcoming the pain of something and somebody has to go through an energy of being revealed or being um, exposed. And then that's what's going to allow the emotions here to, because see, there's a lot of pain. So there's been a lot of pain associated with something. So your person could have been going through a lot of pain. They could have caused somebody else a lot of pain, or this is you experiencing this pain or everybody. Because I feel like there has been a lot of, you know, things here and aspects to it. So I feel like with the swans and the lily, this is something very spiritual that's coming into alignment now. So I feel like things have been held back for a while. The higher love. What's going on in the collective around love? We have loyalty and we have pretend. Okay, so there has been very similar with the fox here. There's been somebody who's been pretending about something. We have this in this home situation here, which has been coming through for a lot of my readings. I feel like there has been a disloyalty when it comes to um, a home situation or home environment. And this could be you finding out that somebody was not loyal to you, or this could be somebody that you're connected to. But I feel like this is something that the mask is here again. So we just had the mask card from Lenormand. So there's been somebody who's been pretending to be somebody that they're not. And this person's going to be exposed. And I feel like this is going to be what is going to lead everybody involved to their divine uh, partner. Because this is what's lining up the scales to be balanced here. So there's been very much of a... a bluff here when it comes to one's trust and one's reliability in a situation. Okay. Where's the energy around love for the collective? The devil. The devil and the six of cups. So this is something from the past here. Um, again, with the six of cups, this actually, this combination here can definitely be like a karmic soulmate here. So I feel like there's an energy with this devil and the six of cups that has... Um, 
been attached to the past year. So you, you know, could have been attached to somebody here from the past that has been um, not who you thought they were. And somebody's true colors is now going to be exposed here. Or this could be your soulmate or your counterpart, even for some of you that has been unhealthy attached to something else here. And this is where the exposure is happening. So that's what I'm seeing. What's going on with this Six of Cups energy here um, with this devil? Very much of a Mercury retrograde energy. What's going on with this Six of Cups and the devil? I feel like a lot of you are coming to terms with the situation that, again, you thought was going to be something, but you thought that it was, you like for some of you, you could have thought that this was a connection that was meant to be in your life for a, for a while, or that you thought that this was the, the person here, I guess, for you. But I feel like with this compass and this here, this is all happening for a reason. So this is something that I feel the, um, the universe is aligning this here for the spiritual love, as I said before. So I feel like with this compass, this is what's, this is like the, um, this is like the universe's way of giving you something that is very difficult for you or that you feel like you, you don't know why this is happening to you or you don't know why this is all crumbling down for you. You thought that this is what this, you thought that this was your person or you thought this is what you wanted, but I feel like this is what's happening in order to align you to that higher love. So things are not making sense right now for some of you but they will be making sense because of this here. So this fool in the compass is you listening to your guidance system on where that kind of radar is pointing you to. And so if you are having this energy that's, that's being given to you here, that somebody either approaches you from the past, this person could try to send you a message or they could try to reach out to you here, but something tells you that something is off. This could be when you realize that there is something about this individual that is off to you. Um, and I feel like there's going to be some sort of unveiling of this here because you're going to be able to see through their mask here. Or there's something about this that you're going to be able to see through. And then we have trapped and we have clinging here. Yeah, so see, there's been a holding on energy with the holding on here, clinging and the six of cups. There's been an unhealthy attachment to the past for somebody here. I don't know if this is you or somebody else. But something has been very unhealthy attached to the past. It could also be your person that you've been dealing with who could be unhealthy attached to a connection that they have been kind of looking at this as a very superficial thing is what I'm getting here. So this is somebody who's been kind of chasing this type of energy. And what's happening is that um, I feel like there's almost an energy of like competition here. I think this is more like in the spiritual realm though. Like this is competition in the sense that the spiritual connections and the high vibrational connections are the one that are the ones that are canceling out the lower vibrational connections in which you and your partner, if you're in a divine connection, you're kind of overcoming the obstacles because the revealer of the darkness is coming out. So it's kind of like time reveals all truths. And that's what I'm seeing here. And then for the others of you, of course, that could be you. And that's, there's nothing wrong with that. I feel, you know, we all go through those karmic types of connections here. And what that means is that you are just understanding the true essence of a connection in order to align your compass to the right direction for you to find your true counterpart or your true soulmate who is going to be the one who is going to be loyal to you because someone's loyalty has been revealed or, yeah. What's coming in for the collective? What's coming in for the collective? Exactly, the temperance with the three of swords. See, we have the world beneath that here. So this is the healing after an ending, after heartbreak. Um, with the three of swords being here and the temperance, this is you getting your balance back. A lot of root chakra energy here with the fool and the temperance card. So you are going to be, and oftentimes I see the temperance as a spiritual connection too. So this is finding the person who's going to balance you out. So finding that person or coming back together with this person who's going to temper out your energies and who's going to be the counterpart to your own energies here. So if some of you are in a low place right now and you feel like the person that you're with has been 
Um, if, you, if you've had proof of that, of course, that this person has been deceptive or that there's something re revealed about that, or if you've gone through a breakup, just know that there is a, a higher reasoning to why this is happening. And this is what's aligning you to this, this energy here. And then for others, again, if you are um, having this feeling or this inclination that your person that you're attached to or your counterpart is going through this understanding of where their loyalty has been invested that has not been productive for them, then you are correct because your compass is pointing you kind of in your, your internal kind of guidance system is pointing you to knowing that this is coming into alignment for you. Any messages for the collective and love? What's coming in for the collective and love? Two of Wands and the Four of Swords. So yeah, you are still in this healing process. A lot of you are still going to be healing for a while. I think that the, the energy is going to be more focused inward. Um, and with the Two of Wands, you do have to kind of make a choice now when it comes to where, where you're heading and where you're going here. So I feel like with the Two of Wands, you do have to... It's like, I still feel like there's two separate energies. This is one energy and this is another energy. So there's going to be a crossroads between these two energies coming up because this energy here or the karmic type energy, which for some of you could be the person that you've been with. That's all up to you to decide what that is. But that's just the message I'm getting from spirit here today is that there could be an energy where you are finding out, you know, the, the, who, who this person is to you. Um, and I feel like this is going to be exposing the high vibrational connections here to come into your lives. Um, so, yeah. So what's coming in for you then? Because keeping held on to the past here has been keeping somebody very stuck from moving moving up what's coming in for the collective and love here solitary so i think that there's going to be more of a solitary energy coming through this is going to be taking time to be single, taking time to reflect, taking time to heal. So I feel like this goes for both you and perhaps your counterpart. And for some, it could be that this counterpart you, you haven't met yet. Um, like I mentioned, this could be you having to kind of uh, eventually come to a truth about what you thought was in your life in order to just allow that connection that's meant to be in your life to come through regardless of labels twin flame soulmate karmic it's just about moving to a higher love that's going to um, elevate you and that's going to give you this sense of of you know deep loyalty and love here there's an epiphany happening so within the entire collective there's an epiphany happening about where loyalty should be given and where it has been taken advantage of and where it has been pretended, if that's a word. So I just feel like with this temperance and the solitary and the epiphany, um, a lot of you are just going to be taking this time to reflect again on your truths because of the epiphanies that have already happened. These epiphanies have already come through for a lot of people. And this is what's allowing things to settle in. So it's like sitting with the truth and sitting with the energies uh, for both you and perhaps another person is what's going to happen here for a while until any actions are taken or until the universe aligns you to that person that's meant to be in your life because i feel like it's like the there's got to be a elimination of the lower in order to ascend to the higher here here we have beginning so yes there's a new beginning happening but right now is the healing initiation phase or initiation process Last time I did this update, I did have the July energy come through. So for some of you, this could be happening in July. This could be an energy that's going to surface in July. So this could be this new beginning or this new partner coming in in July. But the karmic energies, I feel, were just simply the energies that are not um, 
in alignment with you have been keeping somebody very stuck and entrapped and this is what um yeah we have entrapment here what's going on in the collective around love the past so the past the six of cups in the past here with the messenger see a lot of you are going to be receiving a message from the past here, and this is this is going to be what brings the clarity to you in whichever way that is. So I feel like um, it's going to revolve around a message. That was the first card that came out, the confessions card. So this is all going to revolve around a message or, or some form of a message. It could be a spiritual message for some of you, but for others, it is going to be an actual physical um, you know, text message or letter or whatever that could be. And that's what's going to give clarity around this entire situation. So what's this message about? We have danger and we have emotion. You may find that you are in a situation almost over your head and change must happen for you to survive. Be true to your feelings. Know this too will end. Learn from experience. So with the danger card here, it says you're about to make an emotional decision and it must be a logical choice. That's interesting since we have that with the emotion card. And I think that with this retrograde too, um, a, lot of, um, a lot of emotions are brought to the surface because it triggers us. And that's what I feel is happening here. So some of you might get kind of a triggering message or there might be some triggering news. And that's what's going to kind of be the revealer or be the catalyst of the truth that you need at this point. And that's where I feel that this fresh energy is going to start to emerge because it's like the unresolved issues of the past have to be brought up. And that's what this Mercury retrograde does as well. So I feel like that's what's going to be the highlight here is that there's going to be a letting go of the grip of the past here or the, the something to do with the past here that has to be the, the mask has to come off here. And I feel like that's when this new beginning is going to come through because a lot of you are going to be taking your energy inward and focusing on that here in order to make decisions that are going to bring you balance and bring you that that higher love. So the compass is guiding you right now. So really listen to the signs of spirit because I think that the compass is guiding you to where you need to be. And same goes for perhaps the counterpart that some of you could be dealing with. The compass is guiding them here because there is going to be something about the unloyal or disloyal energies that are going to be brought up for evaluation. Let's just close it up with a message here. Perhaps from a person that you're dealing with. What is the message here? Oops. Yeah, we have selfish here. Even though I'm not ready for you, I want to keep you close to me. And then we have secrets. I hid something from you and I'm afraid to tell you about it. See, there's been some secrets here. There has been something that I feel for some could be attached to this message because somebody has been a little bit selfish in their approach. So this person could be the person from the past who wants to hold on to you, who wants to continue to have you in their lives, but they're not exactly sure why, or they're doing so for a selfish reason because there has been some secrets that are going to be unveiled because your, your intuition is going to cut through it or you're, you're actually going to find out something here, or perhaps they could tell you, but I feel that there has been this energy here. So that's what I feel is going to be the connection to the past here that has to be um, let go of in order to allow this energy to come through. Let's get one more card then. Message for the collective. We have play, we have love, and we have freedom. I can't be tied down right now. I have too many interests. I just want to have fun, and my heart is opening. So I almost feel like this could be separate. For some of you, this could be you even having this freedom, having this sense of open-heartedness. Um, 
because with the freedom card and the play card there, that could be somebody who does want to kind of keep things light because I'm seeing this here too. So I feel like it's just going to be that I feel there's going to be an alignment of energies that are going to lead you to your truth and also perhaps what you know, what action you need to take and where you need to heal. And that's where there's going to be this alignment coming in here. So let's just get the final Oracle card here for you. The final Oracle card for the collective here. Final message for the collective. Final message for the collective. Yes, take a leap of faith here. So we have you go first, the universe will catch you. And we have keepers of the earth. You are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. So yeah, a lot of you just take a leap of faith. You know, it's it's more about you with the fool card being there to allow that person to come back into your life or allow that alignment to happen for some of you. If this is about a specific counterpart. Um, or just allow yourself to be guided to the right path for you, to be guided to that leap that's going to give you that uh, sense of security and sense of alignment here. So that's the message for you. So I hope that this reading could help you guys. Just a little update. Have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you next time. Much love. Much love.